There is always a space to read between the lines when it comes to the Chinese Communist Party's propagandas. As the world is increasingly getting affected by the rise of China, CCP continues to evolve with its themes and tactics to gain global dominance. In order to understand and assess CCP's intentions behind its propaganda slogans, the Tibetan Center for Human Rights and Democracy, TCHRD, is launching Decoding CCP, a reliable guide to decoding CCP's propaganda keywords. Let's find out what decoding CCP is and how does it work. To help us understand this, we have Tsring Somula, the director of TCHRD. Tashtile Tsring Somula. So Tsring Somula, first of all, can you please tell us briefly about what exactly is decoding CCP and is it a website or if it is then how does it work? So decoding CCP uh, is a project uh, that uh, we have been working on for the last uh, um, probably one, more than one year and it is a website, um, uh, rather it is a reference guide mm -hmm. to um, almost uh, 500 uh, Chinese Communist Party slogans and uh, policy jargons. Um, we believe that this website will help a user assess the intentions of the Chinese Communist Party. To, uh, so the way the website works is that we start with the uh, authorized uh, definition of uh, this term or that slogan and then we unpack the implicit meanings, uh, the hidden uh, you know, assumptions mm -hmm. uh, and also some racist uh, you know, um, kind of uh, illusions. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's how you know the website uh, will help the users. Okay. So, um, can anybody access the website, and what language is the website in? Absolutely, uh, the website is available in three languages: uh, Tibetan, Chinese, and English. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, this is uh, one of the ways in which uh, our website uh, is different from other similar websites, mm -hmm. which are quite a handful. I mean, there isn't uh, many, uh, but uh, our website, uh, you know, is accessible to Tibetan speaking, mm -hmm. um, you know, readers, as well as uh, Chinese readers. Uh, so it's uh, trilingual, uh, but also most importantly, it provides the Tibetan perspective mm -hmm. on this subject, yes. Yeah. By that, can I ask you, why was the need felt for coming up with such project? Well, uh, Maybe 10 years ago, if you ask this question, probably uh, many in the West maybe uh, would uh, have said that there is there's really no need for such project, probably. But a lot has changed in the mm -hmm. last decade, especially Xi Jinping took over as the president. Yes. Now China has become more aggressive mm -hmm. in, its, in its foreign policy dealings. Uh, gone are the days when China was, uh, you know, chose to keep a low profile and bide its time, um, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but now, um, almost everybody wants to know about China, understand China. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we believe that uh, there had been um, no effort, you know, very little effort on the part of uh, many countries to really understand China. In fact, a friend of mine who is a seasoned China watcher, mm -hmm. when I discussed this project with him, he actually remarked that in fact this project should have been available 30 years ago. Yeah. So there is definitely a need yeah. and uh, we hope this will benefit a lot of people. Yes, yeah, so I would like to ask my next question to Mr. Tsring Dojila who has played an important role as a researcher in making this website and he's joining us virtually today. Uh, thank you for interviewing me on uh, Tibeta TV. Sing Dojila, can you please tell us how did you carry out the research and select the propaganda jargons or keywords? Yeah, those uh, Chinese Communist Party uh, terms, jargons, are selectively decoded uh, for showing how CCP understand and interpret many uh, important uh, terms. So some of them are commonly uh, seen uh, both in China and uh, in uh, international uh, media or international discourse. Some of the uh, jargons are embedded uh, links to the original uh, lectures 
and uh, quoted uh, some of the words which we found in uh, scholars who studied the, uh, some of uh, those uh, uh, CCP terms. So that may help uh, the readers to track back or see the, the result of their study. Singdojla, to whom do you think this website will be the most beneficial and in what ways? We present the interpretation, but uh, the decision left for the audience when they read the decoding, but then they will decide. Yeah. So at the moment, the world, politicians and uh, big tax and interpreters, they were puzzled by Chinese Communist Party. So they found something is wrong with the CCP. They are different, but uh, we don't know. They will see the difference, what they interpret and uh, the real meaning of behind it. So it will help uh, so many people, we hope. And for the Tibetans, there's a Tibetan version for many uh, CCP jargons, included the the Korean CCP. So they will also will be helpful them understand and see what's the difference. So Tsing Tsumla, what kind of impact do you think this website will make in the way people perceive China's propaganda? Well, it's too early to say that, but um, we hope that, you know, uh, as I mentioned that uh, there has been no effort almost to understand China in many parts of the world. So um, the, uh, we believe that there is some sort of a lacuna, you know, in, in, in understanding China. And uh, there also the Chinese Communist Party spends, uh, you know, a lot of money on promoting its own narrative uh, internationally. So we, we believe that this website will fill in the gap mm -hmm that exist uh, and uh, many uh, countries and uh, many other stakeholders would like to understand China better. So this resource uh, will go a long way in uh, filling up that gap uh, and also in terms of um, how uh, you know the human rights situation in Tibet uh, would be more sort of uh, you know visible to the world. Mm -hmm. okay. so Last but not the least, Sring Tsumla, what are your future plans with decoding CCP and how are you planning to keep the website updated? Well, we, uh, when we started with this project, uh, you know, we thought that we were just, uh, you know, uh, gathering a bunch of uh, Chinese Communist Party jargons. But as uh, we moved along with the project, we realized that uh, under Xi Jinping, you know, there uh, is, there has been this incessant, you know, like uh, line of uh, slogans and jargons. Every other day, you know, there is a flurry of jargons coming out from Beijing. So we felt that uh, this should be an ongoing project and uh, not for just one year project. And uh, so we are still monitoring the situation in China, policy documents, and also, uh, you know, new slogans. Uh, and we uh, hope that, you know, um, uh, as uh, we move on, uh, you know, we'll be able to update the website and uh, we'll be able to also provide, uh, you know, a background and, uh, you know, probable definitions of these uh, terms and uh, slogans. Yeah. And also we, next year, we plan to uh, launch an app uh, for this website. Uh, so it will be more easier for yeah. people who use uh, mobile phones well, Sim Tsumla, thank mm -hmm. you so much for taking time with In Conversation with Tibet TV. Thank okay, you. Thank you.